Yes, we are live now. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to my presentation. It's about effective ways of using videos in uh, teaching English. Uh, and it can be used also to teach math and science as well. All right. So these activities, you can use them in any uh, subject. All right. Um, uh, let's see. Do you use videos? Teaching, for example, we have so many uh, things that we can do. Um, before uh, going into activities, we're going to watch a video that shows us uh, how to use puzzles and riddles to boost the memory of students and, uh, for example, uh, also to, to let them focus. This is very good for the brain. So I need the first uh, video here. That Uh, okay. 
All right. Sometimes teachers feel that uh, for students to watch a video is just for entertainment, but actually, uh, for this generation, we can <coughs> exploit these videos and help them. You know, uh, with the usage of the videos, we can uh, get useful activities. All right. Uh, we create lessons around it. We can create lessons around it to help learners develop language. Uh, well, and of course, to capture uh, capture the attention. All right. Um, of course, it's similar to when you're giving them a reading text. You give them a reading test, You ask them questions. Fill in the blanks. Match. So it's the same with the video. You can uh, let them watch it and give them activities. All right. Uh, when you do the reading, you have also pre-reading, while reading, after reading. With the video, is the same thing. You can give them something before while they watch and right after, all right? Um, so video, like any stimulus you bring into the classroom, needs a teacher's expert touch to turn it into a great lesson. So it's not like I just bring you a video and that's it. I have to work on this video, see the content of the, of the video. I have to uh, see, does it match my objectives? Uh, does it match my lesson? Uh, so I have to work on that. Uh, and plan it really well. All right. All right. First of all, I have to think about the scope, the scope of uh, the topic. So, whatever topic you're going to uh, show the students, you have to think about the level. First of all, the level. If you have uh, high achievers, low achievers, you have, for example, elementary students or middle. Uh, uh, middle or intermediate high school. So you have to think about the scope, the length of the video, how long it will be. All right? Uh, depends on the level, as I said. And you can make it wide, make it small, uh, according to the level of your students. Because nowadays, you know that students, the, the, the focus, the attention span is very short. So you cannot show them like a video of 40 minutes and then tell them, OK, do this. Uh, are you for the teacher do doing this work, or they should have uh, uh, take people uh, concerned with these uh, things? Are you for or against? Excuse me? The, the, the teacher himself should do these tasks, uh, help the, the video to I mean, do these uh, tech things, or we should uh, make use of another uh, I mean, jobs by uh, taking in uh, Absolutely, absolutely. The teacher has to watch the video before before she gives the lesson. Also, you, sometimes you don't want to show them something that is not relevant, something that is not appropriate. So the teacher has to really prepare, watch the video, and think about the the, the use of activities that she can do when they're, they're watching, uh, doing that, when she's preparing for the for the lesson. Okay. So that's the first thing, the scope. The second thing is defining the learning objectives, as I said before. Uh, the success of your lesson depends on the alignment of the instructional content with the learning objectives and outcomes. So you have to see what are your objectives, what are your goals, and match them to whatever you want to give. Okay? Um, so the question is, you get the video, and then based on that, the lesson or you have the lesson and based on that you get the appropriate video. Yeah, very good question. You have of course the lesson and you have according to your lesson you look for the video and work on it. And that's to say I think this this would be the first step, which is defining learning objectives first and outcomes, then we choose uh, the video. Why you that the video according to the objectives and outcomes. Of course. So I think this is the point number one. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I'm not I don't think I'm working this in order. I'm just uh, uh, telling you uh, what should be done. Yeah. All right. So, what are the things that you have to think about when you're when you're using, you're the, using the videos? So, as uh, Dr. Randa said, you first you see the lesson. Let's say, for example, you have a science lesson <coughs> about uh, madness, for example. You have to look for a video that matches your lesson. What are the videos that could be used, the appropriate ones? Uh, if you're doing, for example, um, types, uh, kinds of, for example, uh, flowers, let's say, or plants, let's say. So you have to see, you have to, to look for the appropriate video and work on it. So even math or English or grammar, let's say. 
So grammar, for example, you're doing um, uh, verbs. Okay, watch this video. Tell, tell me what the, are the actions that you see in this video, for example. So you see your lesson, and according to your lesson, you look for the video and you adjust it uh, according to what you want from your students. So bringing the light into your class. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Um, yes. We can, of course, use active verbs from Bloom's taxonomy uh, to define your objective. Of course, you have um, the verbs you can see. For example, if you're showing them a video, these are the, the things that you really need to, to work on, classify, you compare, explain. <laughs> you can show them something they have to explain. Uh, okay, uh, predict. Oh, recognize, so investigate. So yeah. you choose these words to tell them to do the activities. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yes. So these verbs are very important so that you can specify uh, your objectives. And I think uh, to go to what, what you are putting your objective, objectives into words. Yes. Yes. Okay. Based on the rules, that's on. Yeah. All right, here, for example, you have, as we said, the content, what you want to teach, the objectives, uh, what they're going to be able to do, to apply something, to create, identify something, and then you have uh, the question that you need to get from the students. Okay. Which thing you take in my picture? Oh, yeah, this one is very important. Yes, yeah, this is very good. It's okay. All right. Uh, so, uh, I chose one one video. <coughs> this is about technology. Is technology uh, good or bad? Of course, this is for teachers. That's a topic. That's a topic. For example, let's say okay. uh, even students, we can ask them, "What do you think about technology? Do you think it's good? Do you think it's useful?" Uh, is it teaching you something? Are you benefiting from technology? All right? Yeah. As an Indian like community, we will not need to hear the answer. Of course. course. Yes. No, I'm going to say it's good. Yeah, yeah, it should be good, for sure. And uh, what we can do, ask students before, before, it could be any question. Is social media good? Uh, influencers, for example, nowadays, influencers, you know, they're affecting everyone, influencing everyone. So also we can talk about that. Many topics that are really important. Uh, we can work on that. Then we can show them a video. I have a video here about uh, technology. Uh, which one?
upkeep both students and teachers organized. They have so much access that I can say, okay, let's look at this up and you can find it where your book restriction to just what's in this book. But it's finding a way to implement it only when needed. This is the first school where I've, I've had to kind of step up my game with technology. I think if we can really focus on managing the technology and the tools that we have effectively and efficiently, then I think test scores will, will increase. If it's used wisely, I think that we can get more intelligent by, by having so much access. But it comes with a price. Distraction. I think engagement is always an issue. Um, it's easier to lose kids um, in the technology. Just because it's so easy to click over to another tab to check your email or to get on Facebook. Another negative to technology is a craft of writing is being lost. Kids don't know how to read and write cursive anymore. They don't, their penmanship is not something that <coughs> Sometimes if I give instructions, I'll write on the board in cursive writing. A lot of my students can't read that. Mm -hmm. What we need to do to teach them how to use the internet and all the technology that's out there before they're going to be proficient at it. In Joplin, Carla Pisono, KSN Local News. Okay, of course, uh, after the video, or before, just before the video. Do you like anything on your computer? You need to get grounded. I like to wash all day, every day. So they will have, for example, a chart or a table, and they will write them. So they have to focus, they have to listen, so that they can get, you know, have, so this is good for listening skills. Listening skills, uh, to categorize, you know, because they're talking in general. So if they get, for example, what are they have to listen? Okay, what is positive? So I have to write it. Specific information. Specific information, so uh, it's also very good. After, of course, the video. That's why we're playing the video. After the video, you can do a debate. You can debate. Okay? Like or against Two line. groups and debate about the, uh, the topic. All right? With social media, good. Some of them would say yes, some of them would no. <coughs> we'll have a debate, okay? Write an opinion and say, what do you think? Write a persuasive essay to convince someone that technology is good or bad. Uh, right, also on advantage of the So you can exploit the video as much as you can. You can do as many writings as you can. And, uh, specifically because, especially because you're asking them questions about, you know, uh, some about, for example, their opinion, what they think. Okay, and when they, for example, they think technology, technology is good, so they're gonna, uh, uh, you know, do their best to defend to the other yeah. point of view. Uh, whenever we give them a topic, we have to make sure that they like what uh, what they're talking about. All right. Even in the debate, we have to make sure that okay, you're against or you're with, so they can uh, have a stronger, you know. Uh, By the way, we can link this. I think we uh, in the email we post the event. So uh, one of the presenters showed us uh, how to make a video. Videos. You can make the video yourself. Now you can make characters and you can write the script for them and they speak. So uh -huh. you can create your own video and do the same task, creating your own video. Yeah, and this is one of the ideas that uh, I will talk about. So I will show you. Okay, so that would do rather than on, only just uh, picking up the uh, suit, suitable videos from the internet, now you can create your own. Create. Also, students can create uh, the video using the same suit. And that would be really good because they would be using their writing skills. Yeah, and I saw the uh, their trials, you know, after doing, you know, the teacher gave them the, the video he, he did and gave them the tool of making the video and they, they did the, their own videos. What program was that? I, uh, you know, it's it's on our website. I'm going to oh. give you that. It's, okay, it's so a great one. It's model. It's on my normative model. It's on my... Uh, it's called what? The normative Okay. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we, we were shocked when we see, see the videos that the students did, you know? They made a whole story, they made a whole uh, film. They're amazing, they're yeah. so creative. Mm -hmm. I 
was it like they can get any pictures like pictures from they can the make the character you the they can draw the face the write the script and the character say the script ah, the they can put them into uh, an office they can put school. their voices yeah they uh -huh. move they make hands they make something right. that would be amazing so, and you will put that up on the the e-learning community yeah side. it is on the e-learning community uh, videos on the website i think uh, youtube youtube, uh, YouTube channel inshallah i will send it to you inshallah okay so as i said before students should not be active viewers uh, but reactive viewers so we're not just going to show them something they have to work and they have to uh, to know what's the task okay so here, for example, I will show you. I will give you. A, I will show you a video about uh, Fransalak. Okay, I like this video so much. Every time I watch it, I love. So, uh, so what you're going to do, for example, yeah. So the students, for example, you give them this, you tell them, okay, you're going to watch a video about Francella. He's the uh, luckiest unlucky man in the world. This is what they have given him. They have given him this name. All right? And I have here, for example, the activities. You can, uh, you can do the exercise. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yes. That's really good. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm trying. I have a dream to do an extra minute. So you made those questions? Yeah. I made those. Based on the movie. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Because I, what, what do you want? I wanted here cause and effect, and I wanted also order. You want order. So when they finish, for example, matching, uh -huh. you tell them, okay, now you have to order the events. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Yeah. How did you find this video? It's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, fun. it's amazing. I don't know. Yeah, and this is the guy, by the way. He is, he is friend, uh, so that's so amazing. They watch the they watch it and then they answer the exercise after that. How many times do you let them watch it? Uh, it they can watch it two times. Only two, two times. times. Yeah, if they're like middle uh, level, they can watch it. Like maybe, maybe high achievers, they can do it once. So you have to see your students. You know, it's according to your students, right? Yeah. Also, for example, now we watch this video. It's about someone who has something real. It's a real story. So sometimes it's nice to choose real, you know, stories so that the students get more engaged, mm -hmm. engaged and excited about it, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Well, I mean, that was so incredible. I don't think you could have even thought of something like yeah, that. Yeah, I wouldn't. It's a very, yeah, that's a great idea. Okay, oh, so that, then you give them, of course, the answers. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Oh, they can do this in groups, in pairs. Yes. That's a very nice activity. Now, follow-up activities, like, mm -hmm. can, we, can we move it backwards, let me run that? Yes. Yeah. What are... Oh, it's okay. No, she wants yeah. to take this. No, one. it's the, this, the feedback one. Oh, uh, okay. It's yeah. a follow-up activities, yes. No, no, because I want to ask. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just going to think All right, so... Because I'm going to have to leave in just a minute. Oh, okay. All right, anyways. Um, Which line? Is yeah, it? yes, this one. Okay. So what are, if we watch this video, what are the follow-up activities that we would do, for example, after this video? So we can do ordering, we can yeah. do cause and effect, we can do what else? What other activities you should do you think we should, we can do? Write an essay. Uh, write an essay, for example, about what? About the bad experience you had. For example, uh, have you been uh, unlucky, for example, okay? Uh, or tell us about uh, a lucky person you have met, for example, and then they will think about it, why he's so lucky, or unlucky. So you can think about so many things that they can write about. Yeah, you can even tur turn it into an argumentative essay by having a debate on, do people make their own luck? Exactly. This is a higher level there. Uh, well, I teach, they're supposed to be a higher <laughs> level. On some of them, I'm amazed they find their way to the classroom. I'm just like, it's been a rough week. Yeah. I did a debate about uh, what do you think is better? It's all right to be then. smart or to be lucky? You know, we had a debate. Oh, that's that. a great question. You know, and they were like, you know, confused. Which one is better, to be smart or to be or to be lucky? To be rich. And the, <laughs> so that's the best. <laughs> so you don't need to be smart. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Okay. So let's see the follow-up activities that we have. Um, you can retell the story. You can have a debate. Yeah. Uh, writing. You said opinion, uh, personal narrative over the time when you were lucky, like what you said. Uh, research about lucky charms around the world. Uh, research about the person who became famous because of luck. Research about some people who are really uh, lucky in the world, all right, yeah. or unlucky. It's so many things uh, that we can do with just one video. Developing the four skills through video. Just exactly. through one video. Yeah, you can, yeah. Also, the higher, from the, the levels of the thinking, you can move from the downwards uh, upwards. Yeah, because they are listening yeah. and they're watching something, they are writing at the end, of course. And, uh, yeah. Debating so and also, yeah. Yeah, exactly. They can also, for example, go back and read about the friend Selleck, the real man, you know. So the real the story. story. Do the research about him. <coughs> Something that they missing in the video or another version, they can pick them up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got to leave now.
but are you going to say this one the way you did with the other sure. one? Sure. I mean, this is amazing. It is so good. Thank you. Because you can use it for all levels of students. All levels and all subjects as well. Yeah. It's just, it's fantastic. Thank You've done you. such a good job. Well, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ann. That really is true. You can use it for all subjects. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. And I'm figuring I want to use that video. <laughs> yeah, okay, <no. laughs> Dr. Randa has it, so she can send it to you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Again, thank you. How about so you much. do your research as an assignment? What? Yeah, that's an assignment, too. So you should do your research. Yeah, that's a very Find nice the guy, and then you get the video <laughs> from Dr. Randa. So as we said, the video is a great source of information. Um, these learners often need to carry out research for projects. Just what you have said before that we should not take up any video. Uh, we can take videos that the students can get information, real information. Exactly. It doesn't have to be. It's not just any. To be adulterated, but not only for mm -hmm. practicing, but also they can get information from. It. Yeah, exactly. You can even give them a video. Go home. Watch this video and the next day, for example, come write a summary about it. Or watch the video, write a summary, come back the next day, you know. So it has it can be also as an assignment, you know. So you can give them a homework. Yeah, homework. Um, here for example, uh, I did something once with Susan, they loved it, which is go home, watch a video, as I said, but the movie. Watch a movie. Now, when the level is higher, you can, you know, give them a uh, higher uh, <coughs> yeah. or Watch a video, much bigger task. Uh, write a summary. Watch summary. Uh, go watch your favorite uh, movie, for example, and tell us about it. Choose any character and write a description about your favorite characters. Uh, write all the story elements, you know, problem, solution, events. Like being a critic. Yes. Also, you can write a review, watch a video, write. you can do it in class even, it doesn't have to be an assignment, do it in class, show them a video, they would love it to have to Why do you like it? Class. Why you didn't? Uh, yeah. What would you change? Would you recommend you it? Exactly, change the ending. Yes. <laughs> what are story elements? Like, uh, for example, who are the characters? The characters. Yeah, the problem, the solution, what are the events, you know? Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, all right. You, the, another activity is asking students just to watch a video without listening, and they can predict what they're saying. All right. So now, silent video. Silent video. In this case, they have to see and they have to be creative to try to find out what they're saying. You know, when they finish, you can show them and let them listen to see does it match what they were thinking about. Okay. So let's try that activity. Uh, there is a question. There is a question from yeah. one of the viewer. Uh, she's asking that. Can you please ask Jinan? Can we use it for kindergarten levels or not, depending on their age? That strategy which you mentioned. Yeah. I can mean, we use it for kindergarten level? Kindergarten, I think yes. As I said, we can use it for any level, and but you have to see the scope. What are your objectives? Let's yeah. say kindergarten, they are still learning about letters, about uh, colors. Okay, yeah. so see what they need. For example, uh, let's say colors. She can show them a video, different things, and then ask them, what colors did you see? For example, yeah. for example I'm just giving an exa a simple example. Yes. Or letters, for example. Mm. Uh, so anything that she has objective, a certain, certain uh, objectives that she has, she can match them. Yeah. As I said, you can use them in all levels. Yeah, it, you just have to relate your objectives to the video. To the video. So That's great. as I said before, see your objectives and according to your objectives, you look for the right video to. Be smart yes. when picking the, the right video. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely, you have to be smart. You cannot show them anything. Anything. Said, yeah. I think you should be into yeah. Yeah. Let's see this one. Uh, this is about uh, but without a sound. Thank you. So this is without a sound. Yes. So, so this is 
the activity without sound, without sound. And you can also find this. So we have right, to watch so the video. Before we play it, and write you, the you, you give the students give names the to task. the character and give right. their imagination. So, give them a, for example, tell them, okay, you're going to watch something, give names to your characters, give names to your characters, and write what you expect they're saying. So they were right, for example. <laughs> now, this is, I chose a famous series, which is Friends. Right. Yes. I'm sure everyone knows yes. that. All right, so uh, you can anticipate what they're saying. Just guess what they're saying. After that, you show them what, what they're saying. That you're going to be amazed by the things that they write. They have to be created by you. So I pay it? Yeah, that's good. It helps us. It helps. Or maybe uh, Chandler ate his cake. I'm like, why would you eat my cake or something? So food. You <laughs> think they're, they're there's food. About food. Yeah. Some things about food. And he looked at his clothes. Something yeah. about money. Yeah. yeah. What? Something about money. Money. Or right. let's see from the beginning and. Very like you know we can use any video which everybody is watching 
and uh, some like from an old season, from an old TV show, but it's very famous. And then just make them think by themselves. It's like making them think because they will think. They yeah. will start thinking because they can relate to it. And that's an excellent idea to make them think because that's what we want in the classroom. Think from think your that. own self. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. It's not just about using technology. It's just how to use it. Yes. And how to you know, use their you know, creativity, their imagination, their... How to put a lash on technology. Yes. Yes. This is uh, broke out. We can. Now technology, we can't do that. I put from a broke out. For sure. Okay, a lash on technology. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, so here is the dialogue. So you can, as you can see, so you can write if you want, since they know the characters, you yeah. can write the names. It, it depends on the level, as I said, if you feel that they're like, they not able to <coughs> focus on two things, because they're going to be focusing on writing the names and writing what they're saying. So you have to see, you have to see, do I have to, to do something challenging with them? Just remove the names. Or yeah. less challenging, just put the names and then think about what they're saying. Okay. Uh, giving another hint, you can just write what you said and Chandler uh, explain, plan. And you can write one. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they this, in this one? Yeah, exactly. If you see that the task is much hard, you can minimize your uh, expectations of how students write the whole uh, dialogue. You can just uh, move two or three uh, things and they fill in the space. So, yeah. I think. I think sometimes we just we're just amazed by, by what students can give us. You know, sometimes we underestimate their abilities, but when we see what they can do, I think. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Follow up after this. Listen to the conversation. As I said, compare mm -hmm. discussion. What mm -hmm. would you do if someone took your sandwich, for example? Okay, at school. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Role play it. You know, somebody will be Ross, somebody will be uh, Chandler. Uh, describe and develop the character's personality. So we can take, for example, okay, you take Ross, this group takes Ross, describe him, how he is, like adjectives, you know, adjectives. Uh, add more information or more uh, details to his character, for example, characterization. Okay. Any other activities you think we can do? They can also. Uh, role play the whole thing too, uh -huh. or you know if we can make teams and we can ask like challenge the team to write really funny dialogues and that team can role play what they have written. Oh, that yeah. Yeah, like that, you know, that would be like amazing. challenge. Yeah, very nice. From like the dialogue that they wrote, they yeah. can just wrote. Team A will write dialogues for team B and team B will write dialogues for team A and they can you know in that way. Just to just to challenge the other team, they can come up with really funny things. Yeah. They will really use their mind. Absolutely, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, I thought that uh, also uh, through this uh, video we can uh, uh, concentrate on teaching students the uh, characters, as you said, and also the uh, emotions of the uh, characters. Also, with some uh, you know, uh, adjectives like furious, angry, some. Some of them were uh, quiet, and uh, uh -huh. yeah, we yeah, can yeah. teach them uh, through this. We can uh, the, teach them uh, not directly and not say that angry is uh, through definition. No, we, he can see some uh, somebody is angry, and this is uh, he is angry. He described this as angry so through the watching the video, mm -hmm. yeah. not through describing it or through uh, definition. Yeah. Okay, uh, other tasks that we can do with any videos, we can summarize anything, give them a video, summarize it. Or it could be a story, okay, it could be, for example, any information. We should Science. Write, write our text. Science. Yeah, we should write our text. Yeah, vary the, the content, any lesson you want to do. Some, uh, as I said, science, for example, give them something, animals, uh, plants. I don't know how the how the digestive system works, for example, and they can watch it and then they can just write something about it. Alright, write an ending. You can show them, for example, um, a video with and uh, do not show them the ending. So tell them write the ending of for the story, for example. Just yeah, that is also great. To be creative, yeah. 
note taking also give them a task. For example, let me watch something, all right? And uh, for example, years. If you want specific years, you want, for example, um, I don't know, like uh, let's say specific names of animals, right? Uh, look for verbs. Okay. And Mr. Bean's videos are really effective as well. You can because he doesn't speak, so it's all visual. They watch it and, for example, describe what Mr. Bean is doing. And let them write. They will write, you know, a lot of things. They're, I'm sure they're going to be fluent with this. Uh, writing a description, show them something. Show them someone who is... Uh, um, or show them a place, a country, all right? And then ask them to describe the country, you know? Uh, research, they can do research. Um, Video making. <laughs> this is very important. Um, and you were talking video about like doing yeah. a video making. I think it's it's it uh, puzzle. It puzzle. That is puzzle. It puzzle. It puzzle. Yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. Ah, okay. So yeah, these are uh, applications that you can use to uh, make videos. All right. Mm -hmm. After you do an activity, ask them to do their own videos. I will show you after what. Uh, conduct an interview and record it, okay? Also, they can record themselves and, uh, you know, show it in class. Mm -hmm. This will, uh, first of all, confidence, they will have confidence, they will practice the language, you know? Um, also, prepare an advertisement. Tell them, for example, uh, make an advertisement about, uh, let's say, a detergent or a perfume or anything. Go home and do an advertisement. I'm sure they're going to be come up with hundreds of ideas, you know. Okay. Uh, to wrap up, um, the advantages of using videos and learning, engaging the learners, integrating the outside world into the classroom. It's easier to understand when they watch something. Uh, great sort of source of information, and of course. The end, they're using technology, which is what they like nowadays. This is what they're into uh, right now. Um, so the task of video making can provide a genuinely creative and creative use of language. Students finding themselves doing new things in English. So uh, this is what I want to show you. I want to show you a video that my students did. I asked them to do a video about uh, traveling, but I didn't specify. I told them anything about traveling. And they did it. They chose uh, tips of traveling. So I think the, the this mm -hmm. one. Uh, no, I think I, it's there. It's there in the. Oh, which one? Yeah, uh, this one. Tips. Tips, tips before you travel. Tips. 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 Yeah. Tips before you travel. They made. Ah, uh, the, the sound. They made. <laughs> they made. <laughs>
They're really good. was that you are actually making them think out of the box mm -hmm. this is yeah. some this is something you know if if you can bring this into teaching in nowadays like we really want these kids to think out of the box but somehow we're not achieving that so in the classroom it's like you know the same routine the same uh, schedule one after the other but this is like wow you know you, this this will make them think out of the box so that's really good so, i love so it you use videos all the time Uh, of course, sometimes it's not all the time, but you can use it, for example, at the beginning of the lesson. You can do it, for example, uh, uh, you, but I'm sure you can, if you want to integrate it every day, I'm sure you can. Like, if you want to use it every day, every lesson, it's possible. Why not? Especially because now 
they like it. They have, uh, you know, they like the yes. they do they like the technology so they could be integrated. Now sometimes I know we don't have time because we have to finish things. But we as we were saying before you we can choose the right lessons, you know. Lessons sometimes I think we have to choose the boring lessons. The boring lessons we have to think about something. Okay, you know? Yeah, yeah. okay. So if you're trying to teach them a concept, so if it's hard, you can use me just to Exactly. It's hard, it's boring, it's, uh, you know, challenging. Use a video. You will grab their attention and they're absolutely, they will be you know, working with you. Yeah. Yes. How long does it take you to make those kinds of videos? Well, now I have experience, so it doesn't take much time. But uh, it's not that hard, you know, when you know, as I said, when you know the objectives, or what you're going to teach, I think it becomes easier. Time after time, it becomes easier. Yeah. And the thing is that you have to watch the video. You have to first. You have to think what you're going to do. Find the video, the one that you need, the appropriate one, and uh, apply it. Find some. Of it. So I think any course we should do should uh, relate to what students need, not what we want to teach. What do they need? So I think if uh, uh, we teach anything and uh, using videos, using any uh, tool, should be uh, we should determine first whether the students of the, uh, the receiver uh, is uh, need this, uh, how to how to be taught, he need, needs this tool. I think uh, it will be a great idea. Not only teach them the way we uh, want, the way they want is the better way to teach them. Yeah. So you base this on students' needs, yes. of your own... Uh, of course. The lesson that you want, but with their... Uh, the way with their, their way. Yeah. With their, you adapt it their way. To their preferences, yeah. I think. With their preference. For example, you have a class that they love, or boys that like football. Find something that's... Mm -hmm. for, you know, let them work on it. You know? Something that they like. Something they like. Yeah. Of course... Making open-ended... Uh, Tasks like the video they did, you know, uh -huh. to make them free to do what they want. Yeah, give them like five topics, do a video about. One also, after reviewing the video, I think they were they touched the moon. Yeah, yeah. these so, so these are all things that you can do with videos. Yeah, yeah, and more of course. But these are I think extra. These are extra tasks. Yeah. So, Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you.